Alright, what's up guys? This is going to be part one of my unboxing and installation of my new GTX 550Ti. Now, this isn't an unboxing of like the regular box. This is an Amazon box because I did get it used. I got an awesome deal and got it for 70 bucks on Amazon. And that's the only reason why I'm buying such an old card is because I got it so cheap. In case some of you are like, what the fuck, why are you getting a card from like... You know, 2008, 2009. I'm probably way off. It's probably actually like 2012, but it's an old card. But anyways, it's still a lot better than what I have right now, which is a GT 630. So, and getting it for 70 bucks is an awesome deal. So I'll open this up right now. I've got a bunch of packaging peanuts in here and stuff. Wow, look at that. It's like wide open. Alright, so the guy that shipped it to me gave me the mini HDMI to HDMI adapter, like a six foot cable, which is pretty nice. Um, I don't think there's much else in the box, just a receipt and stuff. Alright, so there's the cable, it's an Amazon Basics cable. I might get something new and better than that, I'm not sure. Alright, and then here is the graphics card, here is my new GTX 550 Ti. This is really sexy compared to my old ugly little GT630. Um, I'm not going to go much into detail on the cards because there's other stuff on YouTube about that, but I'll just show you guys the card real quick. It's got these ports, two DVIs, and a mini HDMI. I'll try and get some better light there. It's got the one big fan in the middle, which is nice. It doesn't have a tiny fan over here like some cards do, so it won't be like super loud. It needs a 6-pin right here, so I'll have to do that when I install it. And then it's got 1 gig of DDR5. All of these are the different RAM port places. I don't even know what those are called. But, um, yeah, that's all I'm really going to say about it. Um, we'll get into part 2 now, which is me installing it. And then that kind of can be a little instructional video, too, because a lot of you guys asked me how to install graphics cards because I did one on how to install a power supply. And then a lot of you wanted to know how to do a graphics card, so I'll install it next, and then we'll see how it goes. Alright guys, so now I'll be starting part two, which is where I'm going to remove this graphics card, and add in the new one, which is the 550Ti, so I'm just going to start by taking the old one out, so loosen up these brackets over here, and in this case it actually has thumb screws, which is nice, I can just undo this with my thumb real quick. So I'll get these out, put those up there for now, and this, um, <clears throat> I just have an anti-static wristband, so like I'm not going to put any, um, what's it called, like I'm not going to shock any components and they're not going to shock me. So alright, this, I just have to push this back up here, and then I can just pull the graphics card out. So there's the old graphics card, <clears throat> and look at the difference, this is just... This is a huge difference between the 550Ti and my old one. I'm so glad I'm getting this new card. I can't wait. But okay, so this is also a two bracket. If it was a three, I'd have to take this third one out. Like sometimes you're, you might just have a one and then you're going to get a two. So you'd have to take a third one out, you know, whatever fits. <clears throat> okay, so just kind of line it up. Look back in there. Line it up with the PCI Express slot which is what you're putting it into and then I have to push that back no I don't I can just push it in this is hard to do upright like this all right there I got it in hold on my laptop just made a noise all right sorry about that all right so once you get it lined up and in you just push it in all the way and make sure that it's tight right here like try and tug on it a little bit not not too hard at all but it's in nice and tight now so we just have to screw these back in the two thumb screws put the first one and then the second one and make sure you get these nice and tight because if you don't the graphics card will be wobbly and then when you plug something into it it could mess it up potentially and most likely it's not going to do anything but there's always a possibility and it's better to be safe. So 
So I'll get these in. I'm gonna kind of hold the graphics card up while I do this so that it stays in place better. <laughs> you can just kind of look at the back and like, okay, that's actually up a little too high. So I want it about right there. Yeah, that looks good. Just kind of look at the back of the computer and put it wherever it looks good. Try and get it centered right in the middle. All right, so that's all screwed in nice and tight. It's wobbly in the back, but you know, that's gonna happen. So now the last thing I have to do for this one is just plug in this six pin port right here. And so I'll grab one out of the box that my power supply came with. This is the end that plugs into the power supply. If you don't have a modular power supply, it'll just be there. And then I can plug in one of these to the graphics card. So I will plug this into the power supply. And I like to keep a very neat and clean computer, so I'm going to, well actually this could, no, nah, I'm going to put it through the back. Because this could just come straight up, but it's such a long cable, I don't want it all like hanging out right here. So I'll put that through the little rubber grommet right there, and I'm going to go around to the back. And then feed one of them back up through here. I gotta try and get around the SATA cable. We'll go right above it. And then each of these is a six plus two, so I gotta feed the other two pin through also right here. All right, that's not gonna reach unless I put the other one through with it. I hate to do that, but oh well. So now, because that's not long enough, I'm gonna have these other two with it. You'll see what I mean if I can get it through. Just that SATA cable is in the way. So I've got to kind of wiggle it through here. Alright, I got the six pin through and then there's the two. Okay, so I can just pull that up and then just line it up. There's curves on the top of them and they're flat on the bottom so it's not hard to line up. Plug it in, you'll definitely hear a click with the graphics card one. Um, with these, uh, there's not much I can do here. I mean, I could, if I was really like wanting it to be neat, you could come in and snip these. You can't just cut it, you have to like take it off, and I don't really know how to do all that. I don't do a lot with cables, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it kind of like that. So it's plugged in, the graphics card is in, and everything. So that's it, you got your new graphics card installed, and you can go play some games on it. So Thank you guys for watching the video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I will continue to do more gameplays with this now. If you guys want to see any games or anything, just PM me or comment on a video and let me know. If you guys want to see any more how-to videos, let me know, you know, you guys can just um, tell me, make suggestions and stuff, and I can help you guys out. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.